can start now. Okay. I am Jesse, 32 years old, and I am alcoholic. I can't imagine how that feels, but thank you very much for sharing. Well, the very first stage of alcoholism is experimentation with alcohol. I'm likely to try new different forms of alcohol and test my limits. I'm about to drink like four, at least four drinks within two hours. I increase alcohol consumption for the reason as an excuse to get together with my friends, to elevate the stress out of the boredom and to combat sadness and loneliness. The worst thing is that I was pregnant and I need to stop for my baby. Well, the third stage happened to me. I became more depressed, more anxious, and started losing some sleep. I started to feel sick from heavy drinking, but I enjoy its effect too much to care. I was having relationship issues, decreased social activity because of my erratic behavior. My friends suddenly changed, and I had difficulty conversing with strangers. I'm so sorry to hear that, Belle, but it's good that you surpassed the third stage of alcoholism because if not, you could have developed tolerance to alcohol. That would mean you would need to drink larger quantities just to get buzzed or drunk. And of course, the more you drink, the more damaging effects it has on your body. That's terrible. I know someone worse than that. You really can get away from it. It's the final stage. And I can't remember what it's called, but... Addiction. Alcohol is toxic. And your body is fragile. Regularly drinking more than two standard drinks on any day increases the damage to your body. Over time, alcohol can cause high blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, and can weaken your heart muscle. This could lead to heart attack or stroke. The evidence is clear. Reducing your drinking will reduce your risks. As of July 2018, Quebec is the province where Canadians consume alcohol most frequently. 57% of survey respondents stated that they drink alcohol at least once a week. That is according to Conway, November 24, 2020. The average Canadian household spends over 1,000 Canadian dollars per year on any sort of alcohol beverages. It was estimated that almost 39% of all beer sold in Canada was consumed by Canadians aged between 18 and 34 in 2019. Those aged 15 and over made up around 30% of total consumption. During a recent survey, almost one-fifth of Canadian correspondents stated that they had an increase their alcohol consumption as a result of the coronavirus outbreak. Break. That is according to Conway, December 1st, 2020. No matter how minor a drinking problem may seem, alcohol abuse symptoms should not be ignored. If you or a loved one is struggling with alcoholism, help is readily available. Alcochoa is a program that helps people who are concerned about the consequences of their drinking habits or want to change this habit. It is offered at CLSCs. Find out more about CLSCs in your area. You'll be able to speak with a healthcare professional, free of charge, and in confidential manner. Always remember, you are not alone. Ultimately, there is no one to be told. After the accident, I was given a second chance to change. I want my life back. My family, my work, my friends, and myself as a whole. That's why I seek some help. I had behavioral treatments with health professionals. It helped me change my drinking behavior through counseling. I tried medications prescribed by a primary care physician to stop or reduce my drinking and prevent relapse. And best of all, the mutual support groups. This group cheers me up and helps me set and achieve goals towards my alcohol addiction recovery. You guys help me to keep going with my life. Without you, I will not have an inspiration to deal with my addiction. You are very lucky because some people don't have second chances. 
always remember you are not alone.